Now that we've added information into this space, let's go ahead and start to organize that information. We want to make sure that we see the most relevant details at a glance to make better, more informed decisions. So let's say, for example, I'd like to see my projects in order of due date. I like to be able to stay on top of the current status, and I'm only looking at the most relevant details. Let's go ahead and start to adjust the way we're looking at this information. As a first step, I want to reorder how I'm looking at these different fields. So I can just select the name and drag and drop. So I'm just reordering these so that I'm seeing the highest priority details that I'd like to see. This order looks great, but now let's go ahead and start to adjust this a little bit further. I wanna bring everyone's attention to the toolbar. It says hide fields, filter, group, sort, color, and we can adjust the row height. We've already adjusted the row height in this session. Let's adjust this back to short. Now, I'd like to see these projects in order of due date. In order to do that, we can set up a sort. A sort allows you to display your records in the order of your choosing whether it's a list of upcoming dates in chronological order or to alphabetize your contact list. So selecting sort, I can pick a field to sort by and sort by due date. We see that those records sort of shifted around there and we now see this in order. If I was to double click this and adjust this due date, maybe one day before the other due date on published blog posts we see that the order updates. Let's move that back to the original due date. I'd also like to see our projects here grouped by status. Using group, you can break down your list into groups based on any field in your table. And in this case, let's use status. So pick a field, group by status. In this case, I could also group by type, so I can see we have two video projects, one podcast, and one blog post. But let's stick with status. We can collapse this, and then drill down into the upcoming projects. Let's expand all of these. Now, there's a lot of information here, and I'd like to surface only the most relevant information for the task at hand by customizing which fields are visible and in what order. So selecting hide fields, I can toggle off different fields, maybe start date, attachments, notes. So now I'm seeing just the details that I'd like to see. It's great that we can see all the projects in our pipeline from upcoming, in progress, and complete, but I may want to drill down and just focus on upcoming and in progress. In this case, we can use filter. Using filter, you can focus on a specific subset of records based on a custom criteria. And so let's set that criteria up by selecting filter, add a filter where the status is any of upcoming, or in progress. If I toggle on complete, you'll see it, but because it's toggled off, it's filtered out of this view. This is looking great. By double-clicking on grid view here, I can name this view. Let's call this upcoming and in progress. By selecting this drop-down arrow here, I open up our view picker, and I can add a new view. And let's call this All Projects. Notice that Hide Fields, Filter, Group, and Sort aren't enabled in this view. But if we open up this dropdown and select Upcoming and In Progress, we see that what we've configured is maintained. We've just introduced the concept of views, which are different ways of looking at your information that you can customize and save. Now that we've organized our information in a way that works for us, in the next section, we'll learn how to visualize your information.